Hey everyone, this is an unboxing video for Avengers Endgame Target exclusive Blu-ray set. This is the 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray plus digital code combo set, and it comes with a special booklet. This particular set costed about $34.99 at my Target, and um, I got this one because I got the same one last year for Avengers Infinity War, so I decided to get the same one again for Endgame. All right, and I believe Best Buy has a cool looking steel book, and I'm not sure if any other retailers are selling any special editions, but um, this is the one I wanted to go with. So I'll show you the front of the packaging here with the um, ensemble cast members. All right, so on the back, I'll show off some of the special features that it comes with. So here are the bonus extras right here. It comes with a, uh, a featurette of remembering Stan Lee, setting the tone, casting Robert Downey Jr., a man out of time, creating Captain America, Black Widow, whatever it takes, deleted scenes, gag reels, the Russo Brothers, Journey to Endgame, and more. And right here it says bonus varies by format. That's interesting. Alright. <clears throat> so, let's finally open this up and take a look at it. And I would say this is my maybe third favorite film of 2019 so far. Uh, let's see, first was Endgame. I saw Alita Battle Angel pretty late. I saw that after it came out on, uh, on Blu-ray and I ended up enjoying that. Uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters I definitely saw in theaters. That one, that one I really enjoyed a lot. As a long time uh, Godzilla fan from the uh, you know old school black and white films. Alright, on the back of that. That's pretty cool. This is uh, Thanos standing on top of I think that's the letter A from the Avengers Tower. Yeah, that would be. That looks like the letter A and that looks like the circle that uh, goes around it. Or it could be just some debris that's made to look like that. Just for the um, artistic choice, you know. Alright, so this just slides out of there and there's Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man. That looks really cool. So what's on the back? We have Chris Hemsworth as Thor with the Stormbreaker. That looks really cool. Alright, so let me put the slipcover right there. Alright. Open this up. You have Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. And uh, Chris Evans as Captain America. And if we open that up, we have all of these nice looking discs. So uh, here, let me place this on the stand so I could show you guys this. Okay, so uh, this is the 4K Ultra HD disc. Behind that is um, the bonus Blu-ray disc. So this is the disc you will find all your bonuses on right here. And this is the Blu-ray movie over here. So, um, oh, I will remove those discs and take a look at the other characters that are behind them. So there we go. Mark uh, Ruffalo as Bruce Banner, AKA the Hulk. Okay. And I'm not sure who's behind this. Probably Ant-Man or somebody. Let's see. Oh no, it's uh, Jeremy Renner. And there goes Iron Man. Surprisingly, Iron Man just fell down. Uh, one second. Okay, I saved Iron Man. He's safe. But anyways, that was uh, Jeremy Renner behind there as Hawkeye. And of course, uh, Scarlett Johansson that I already showed off as Black Widow. Oh, um... Hold on, maybe I should turn this entire thing around. Oh, that's pretty awesome. The big three right there. 
move my uh, tripod back. So all of this is on the back of it, which looks really nice. Captain America, Thor, and Iron Man. All right. So I'm gonna flip this back around and take a look at that book that's inside here. All right, so the book you will find right here where uh, Black Widow is. That just slides out easily like so, okay. So let me adjust my camera real quick. All right, so camera is adjusted. So um, here's the booklet that comes with the Target exclusive Blu-ray. It says a look back at the MCU. There's the front, of course. Take a look at the back with Thanos and uh, the reflection in the water of what appears to be the Marvel heroes. At least I think they are. Uh, yeah, it looks like them. I could tell some of them are the Guardians of the Galaxy. That looks like Doctor Strange. That would be Thor, I'm assuming. And uh, I could tell that's maybe Scarlet Witch and probably Captain America standing right there. So that's pretty cool artwork right there, or art design that they chose for the back of this book. All right. So let's take a look inside. Avengers Endgame. Pages are nice and glossy. All right. Oh, cool. This is, um... Is this, uh... Okay, so this is from the first Iron Man film. At first, I thought it was like a little collage of um, all three Iron Man films just put together in just one awesome picture, but no, this is from the uh, very first, I believe, very first MCU film. Okay. Even though there are other... Marvel films that existed before Iron Man, but those do not count. <laughs> All right, Iron Man in his, uh, I think, Mark I armor that he made in the uh, cave. Wow, you know, the first few pages are heavily dedicated to Iron Man. I wonder why. <laughs> but if you've seen the film, um, then yeah, you probably know why as well. Oh, that's a pretty cool shot from the first Avengers film. Ah, oh, man, they put Captain America in the center page where the pages connect there, so you can't really see him that well. But you can pretty much tell, you know, what this is from, if you kept up with the films. See, Iron Man... I think that's from... Iron Man 3? Yeah, that's from Iron Man 3. I did not like Iron Man 3. I like the first one only. Uh, the second one, I thought it was cool that they introduced War Machine, but I felt they, um, I felt like they poorly portrayed Whiplash. So there we go. Iron Man and, uh, most of his armor is from, I think, Iron Man 3 again. You know, this book said it's a look back at the MCU, but I'm seeing a lot of Iron Man stuff here. Okay, that's from Age of Ultron. Yep. Which was not a bad film. Went with my friend to see that on my birthday. And I think Avengers Affinity War and Endgame also came out on my birthday, which is a pretty nice way to spend with my friend, I guess. <laughs> so that's also from Age of Ultron. Uh, Captain America Civil War, which I did enjoy. And I also enjoyed the movie before that, which was uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. Probably the best ones out of the entire uh, Captain America trilogy. And I would say the first one is pretty decent too, which uh, I still need to buy and add to my my movie collection. Iron Man saving Peter Parker. Now, is this from Spider-Man Homecoming or is this from Civil War? Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay, this, this is from Homecoming. Avengers 
Avengers Infinity War, of course. Which uh, I would say is the most action-packed one out of the two films between Infinity War and Endgame. Uh, if you're looking for, you know, a lot of uh, action and cool stuff to, wa to uh, watch, then definitely watch Infinity War. But uh, if you want a more emotionally driven film that saves most of the action until the end, then watch Endgame. Alright, some more artwork there. Tony Stark and Nebula. And I think that's Star-Lord's um, spaceship? Or no, is that... It might be Star-Lord's spaceship, or is that... um? Huh. I'm trying to look to see. I'm trying to read. Or is that Nebula's ship? Hmm. Can't remember whose uh, spaceship that was. This artwork I've seen plenty of times on the internet. It's one of my favorite art designs that they've done for Infinity War. So there's a lot of speculation about Phase um, Phase 4 and Phase 5. I would like to see uh, Galactus or Doctor Doom as the next villains. Um, I was hoping they were going to tease Galactus at the end of Endgame, but no, they pretty much wrapped everything up and starting a, I guess, brand new saga. But um, if I was Marvel, I would take a break for at least like five or six years and then, you know, return with more Marvel films because uh, most of these Marvel films are just, you know, oversaturated. Well, I shouldn't say Marvel, but a lot of superhero films are uh, oversaturating Hollywood these days. So, you know. Not a lot of uh, original stuff out there in the theaters. I mean, every once in a while something original will pop up and it's awesome, but too many superhero movies. <laughs> and after Endgame, I needed a break, even though I did go see Spider-Man Far From Home, mostly for Mysterio, and I loved it. All right, so uh, I ended up putting a crease in the side here, showing off all the pages, but that's all right. So that's the book that it comes with, and behind that is the digital code. If you guys were looking or wondering where the digital code is, it comes in that little slot with the book as well. All right. So I believe that's it for this unboxing of the Target exclusive Avengers Endgame Blu-ray, which is out now. $34.99 at Target. They also had the basic version, which is a little bit cheaper. I think that's like around 20 bucks. And of course, the steel book is always located at uh, Best Buy because they always sell the, the steel books. So I'll show this one off again in case if you guys forgot what this one looked like for Infinity War, which had this awesome layout of the characters there are these characters on the back all right so just showing that off again in case if you guys forgot what the, the infinity war one looked like from target and there's the book but anyways if you go there today you might be able to get one they had plenty of them so i would suggest getting them either today or possibly tomorrow i don't know how fast these things are going to go off the shelves but since this is one of the uh best movies of the year next to alita battle angel and uh godzilla king of the monsters which i love and that's going to be my next blu-ray can't wait till godzilla king of the monsters come out but uh, yeah, check it out at your local targets and uh, that completes this video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Stay awesome. Avengers, assemble.